Hey guys, so, sorry about that. Today, I'm going to be attempting a balloon smash as part of a fluid artist collab, part, which, you know, is part of the fluid artist collective Facebook group. I think I got that right. I hope I got that right. Uh, I'll post the link down in the description. So, this time we're all doing balloon smashes, which I have yet to have a successful balloon smash, but I really think I've only tried it once and it turned out horrible. Of course, my husband liked it because, according to him, it looks like a leather effect. And I'm like, yeah, that doesn't help, babe, but thank you. Um, I think I have a video of it. Uh, this is one of my earlier, earlier, earlier pours. Or, yeah. So, um, I'll double check and, uh, if I have a video of it, then I will put it down in the description. I'll also put the link to the Facebook group, uh, in the description and so I also want to give a artist shout out to Miss Doris who does DF designs and she does resin art and she does acrylic uh, I like when we do these challenges because a lot of times like we're all using acrylic and she busts out something in resin and we're all like what? Yeah, that's so cool. It's so awesome. And she really is cool. She is an amazing artist. She's super supportive of um, other artists and she is all about helping others learn and doing what she can to uh, offer advice, you know, based, most of it, obviously, you know, when we give, as artists, when we give fellow artists advice, a lot of it is advice based off of our own personal experience, so, um, it, it's always like, hey, what, you know, what works for one might not necessarily, you know, work for someone else, but we try to do what we can as far as you know helping each other out anyway so I just want to give Miss Doris a uh, a shout out she like I said she's just totally awesome she's super supportive she's totally talented and she's always going outside the box where like I said most of us were doing stuff with you know just paint and she busts something beautiful out in acrylic and it or sorry she busts something out in resin and it's like whoa holy crap it's you know it's like man never thought you could do something like that with resin but uh that uh i'll link her channel as well um down in the description and as always, when we do these collabs, you know, we'll have the other artists that are involved. We'll have their videos linked in the description. 8x10 canvas. I'm actually going to, like, just drizzle the paint on there. And, like, that's going to be, like, where I dip my balloon in. And then I'm going to, like, dip and, you know, transfer it over to this canvas over here. Uh, that way... Um, I could have just put it down here, you know, and had it for skins, but I kind of just want to be like, bam, 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 bam. So, that's my plan. And we will see how well all of that works. Um.
Okay. Well, not exactly what I was going for, but I'll roll with it. I was hoping I could tilt this and like, you know, shift some of the paint around and just have it, you know, do whatever, but it wasn't moving. Try to add some paint on the side. It still wasn't moving, so I said, screw it. I'll just add some paint and blow it around. Whatever. It got muddy in some areas, but we'll see how it dries. Either I'm going to like it and I think it's going to be a cool background for something else or I'll just paint over it. So, then this one, uh, as you saw, it really wasn't going how I hoped it would go. So, I tried to add a base coat, but I was using an old paint that was supposed to be thinner. I think I put way, 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 way too much Floetrol in it to try to like remix it or whatever. So I think most of this bottom is more Floetrol than it is white paint. So I might have like lots of naked spots, I'm sure. But I mean, it looks pretty cool. I, I don't love it, but I don't hate it at the same time. You know, it's just like this one. So either it's gonna dry and I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I love it. Or I'll be like, oh, well, it'll make a cool background for this. Or I'm just absolutely going to be like, eh. And, you know, can always paint over it. And yeah, I scraped my canvas. Which is something I hardly ever do. But it was just, like, getting too muddy. And I didn't think I could save it. And I just didn't like the direction it was going. So, yeah. That's not something I do very often. Normally I'll just stick it to a canvas that I don't really, I'll stick it to the side, grab another one the same size and just do a whole nother painting and go from there. Uh, it wasn't doing it for me so I just decided to, to swipe it or wipe the canvas or whatever y'all want to call it. But I'll get you some close ups of these two and we'll see how they dry and I'll just have to go from there. Alright. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye.